People do not decide their futures, they decide their habits and the habits decide their future. How many times have you had the thought of changing your life but you just didn't do anything with it because you thought it would be too time consuming or you thought you had to change your life you know, in 360 degrees, but that's actually not true. To change your life in a positive way, the only thing you have to do is to add and remove some habits into your life and voila, you'll be on your way to a much successful and easier life. Habits are part of ourselves, they are our identity, they make us who we are and they are pattern of our lives. They help us to function more efficiently and help us to live a more successful and easier life. Now, there are good habits and bad habits. Good habits are those that are difficult to form and difficult to adapt to, but they will lead us to an easy and successful life in the future. But bad habits are the ones that are very easy to adapt to and very easy to form, but they will lead us to a very unsuccessful and a very difficult life. I read something online that really impacted me a lot and really made me think about the importance of good habits in my life. So before we get into this video, I really wanted to share that quote with you guys because it may inspire you guys as it inspired me. 90% of our actions are from our habits or from our conscious mind. Only 10% of our actions are from our conscious mind. So if your habits are wrong, your actions will be faulty and your destiny will be tainted. Always remember that our thoughts lead to words, words lead to actions, actions lead to habits, habits lead to character and character shapes the destiny. So now, we have a goal, let's get into this video. Tip number one, create a morning and a night routine. I talked about this in my last video and I'll repeat it again. Having a morning or a night routine or just a daily routine in your life is more important than you think. They are the prime for success. They will help you to be more productive, they will help you to work more efficiently, they will help you to uh, think more clearly and they will help you to, you know, leave all these uh, useless thoughts from your mind. So it will help you to be more productive and work on the things that are really important. By having some time in the morning where you can just sit down and focus on yourself or on focus on the things that you have to do that day you know just sit down and make a list of the things that you have to do on that day it will help you to be more productive and as i said it will help you to you know get more stuff done it will help you to think clearly during the day and that will also help you to focus 100 on your work that does also have health benefits it will make you less stressed it will make you feel less anxious and it will also give you a good night of sleep all the successful people they have their own routines some like to read in the morning some like to do yoga some like to do exercise in the morning and all of them get all the stuff done in the morning stuff that are not very important so that throughout the day they can focus 100 on their work and just work efficiently and be productive so it's very important to have a daily routine that suits yourself because everyone is different so everyone will have a different kind of routine different kind of morning routine night routine or a daily routine in their life so my advice for you is just try a different thing try different routines that suits you and that suits your life and that will work for you that will make you a better person that will make you more productive and that will also keep you know the user's thoughts from bothering you during the day here in youtube you can actually find a lot of videos that will show you a morning routine or you know daily life routine of successful people like Oprah Winfrey, Jack Ma, Steve Jobs and a lot others that will inspire you to find your own morning routine. Tip number two, learn to let go of your phone. I know these days that phones are everything for us, they are part of our lives, they are part of our identity, they are part of who we are and they are part of a daily routine and that's why it's very important to learn to have control of it and learn to let it go when it's not necessary. For example, when you're with your friends, with your family or just spending some time alone, it's very important to, you know, learn to leave your phone on the side and just focus on the present and just focus on the moment that you're leaving. There was a time that I personally was feeling very overwhelmed with social media and all the things that were going online and I decided to delete all my social media and only then I realized how much time I was spending on those platforms and how they were affecting my life and my mental health as well. So I'm not telling you to delete, you know, all the, all your social medias because that's kind of impossible in the day we live today, like to live without social media. But what I'm saying is that a break from time to time will only help you and will help you to, as I said, stay more focused, be more present and, you know, will help your mental health a lot. Another way for this is to turn off notifications on your phone. So whenever when you're with your friends, with your family or just spending some time alone, as I said, you can, you know, just focus on what's important and don't get distracted by all the memes that your friends send you on Instagram. Tip number three, learn to clean every single day. I know this sounds maybe really bad for those who don't like cleaning at all, but cleaning can be really fun. It can be really distressing and very fun. It can be a way of sorting out all your ideas or just, you know, spending some time alone with yourself. I personally like to clean in the morning because that really motivates me to get out of bed and it's kind of fun for me. So I really like to clean in the morning, but I know some people like to clean the night before. So when they wake up, they have like, you know, a clean space where you can just 
practice your morning routine and you can just start your day peacefully having a clean house is more important than you think because the things around you are the things that make you in a way so if you live in a very messy house in a very messy room your thoughts will also be messy and your life will also be messy in a way so if you have a clean room a clean house that will help you to be more happy it will help you to be less stressed it will help you to be more productive it will help you to work more efficiently so having a clean space is very important like you don't have to waste hours cleaning every single day you will just have to like spare five to ten minutes a day where you can clean and organize your house as well as your mind and that will also give you more times on the weekend because if you clean every single day your house will not be that messy so on the weekend instead of spending hours cleaning you can just go out and have fun with your friends or family or you can just spend some time alone you know listen to music reading books or listen to audiobooks and podcasts and just spend your time in a clear house with a clear mind tip number four cultivate great relationships. Relationships do not sustain by themselves. They need effort, they need your time and we often tend to forget about it. We often tend to think that you know relationships will grow on their own if they don't is just because they were not meant to be but that's not true. As anything in life relationships do also need time and effort so they can work out and grow into you know a better relationship. So no matter how busy you are always make time for the people you love and for the people that you want in your life. Uh, for example, go hang out with your friends more often, go take your mom to shopping, take your parents out for dinner and, you know, just dedicate some time for the people you love. And if you live very far away or if you have very, very, very tight schedule where you don't have, you know, time for all of these stuffs, a single text message asking if everything is okay will really do miracles because that will show people how much you care for them and how much, you know, they are important for you. I think I tell my mom a million times a day how much I love her and sometimes it can be really extra but, you know, I don't want to regret not telling her how much I loved her one day so never be afraid of telling people how much you love them and how important they are in your life and how much you want them in your life and how much you are grateful for them. So never be afraid of showing your feelings because only that way people will know what's inside your mind and inside your heart. Tip number five, learn to communicate and be more social. This one is definitely for me because I'm the most antisocial person ever. Like I don't like to go out, I don't like to be social, I don't like to just leave my comfort zone but that's the worst thing ever because the best things happen out of your comfort zone so you should always you know go out hang with more people and meet new people just go out and you know learn to socialize because you will not learn to be social by sitting at home and reading books on how to communicate or how to be social you'll have to go out meet new people and sometimes can be embarrassing like it can it may not be embarrassing for the other people like other people may not have the same view as you but if you are new to this i totally understand that it's very embarrassing to you know just go out and um, be more social but i think it's something that everyone has to work on tip number six be more curious never let your curiosity die because once that happens you'll stop learning and that will lead to you stop growing as a person so always have that kid that is inside you with curiosity feed him up every single day and that will lead you to learn more stuff in life which will lead to more confidence and more self-esteem curiosity is actually the best skill that we can build so always be curious about stuff that are around you about people that are around you read more newspapers read more books uh, listen to podcasts listen to news listen to audiobooks do everything that you can do to learn new things every single day because that will make you grow as a human being and that will make you to a more competent person which will lead to a more successful life in the future so always be curious and never let your curiosity die and always remember that curiosity leads to knowledge and knowledge leads to confidence and confidence leads to self-esteem and self-esteem leads to a successful life in the future tip number seven learn to spend some time alone I think this is the most important thing in life because if you are not comfortable with yourself, if you do not love yourself, I believe that you will not be available to love someone else. And being comfortable with yourself is actually the most important thing ever and it's very, very, very important for your mental health. So no matter how busy you are, just take some time to spend alone. You know, after a long day, you can just sit down at home with a glass of wine or with a cup of tea and just listen to some music and spend some time alone with yourself because it's very important to figure out who we are as a person. It's very important to 
you to know who you are as a person, what you like, what you don't like, what your body needs and what your body does not need. So it's very important to know who you are, to know what you want in life and to, you know, achieve great success in life. I think self-love is the most important thing when it comes to mental health because if you are aware of who you are, if you are aware of the things that you like, the things that you don't like, if you are comfortable with yourself, you will be comfortable with everything that's within you, you know, like it will lead to a more a clear mind, self-love which will lead to confidence, which will lead to a more happier life and, you know, a positive life. And if you are happy with yourself, you will not be a negative person. You'll not have, you know, a negative vibe around you. If you are happy with yourself, you will have that, you know, motivation to make other people that are around you. Happy. Tip number eight, invest in self-care. Self-care is very, important it will improve your health and it will also improve your mental health having some time alone in a day where you can you know just sit down and take care of your skin take care of your health is very important and it will also lead you to know yourself much better and know your you know health much better know the steps that you uh, need in life and all the stuff that your body needs so having some time in a day where you can just you know sit down and take care of yourself is very important be the person responsible for your own health and for your own mental health and always have a self-care routine where you can focus on yourself and where you can dedicate some time for yourself Tip number nine, learn to single task. Single tasking can actually be more productive and more efficient than multitasking because when you're multitasking, you're focusing and 10 things on the same time. So you'll not be focusing, you know, 100% on a task. You'll make a lot of mistakes. So you'll have to spend more time on those tasks. It will just take more time and it will take more effort. So learn to single task is very important in life and it can actually be more efficient and more productive than single tasking. Now, the final tip is develop a positive thinking. Positive thinking is everything in life. I actually believe very strongly in law of attraction. So I believe that if you're positive in life, you will receive positive things and you'll have, you know, positivity around you. And if you are a negative person or if you have, you know, negative thoughts around you, you will have negative vibes around you to just make everything more sad and it will not give you that motivation in life so having a positive thinking is very important in life and i'm not saying that by having a positive thinking you'll get everything in life and you'll have a successful life but that will give you motivation to work harder it will give you motivation to be be more efficient to be more productive it will give you a clear mind so that you can focus on things that are really important so that you can focus on your work and so that you can achieve great things in life all these habits are very easy to talk about or very easy to think about you know of having in your life but that are actually very difficult to adapt to because as i said good habits are those ones that are very difficult to adapt to and very difficult to form but that they will lead to a more successful and easier life it takes 21 days to form a habit you know so that your mind and body can get used to that habit so the only thing you have to do is to try every single day give your best and try every single day and if you fail one day you'll have to start from the beginning and start counting those 21 days over again but by the time you'll get used to it and you'll see that those habits will lead to a great place in your life and it will make you a better and more successful person in life so think about the habits that you have in your life and think about the bad habits that you have in life and think about the good habits that you have in life and if you have bad habits in life then try to remove them and try to add some other good habits in your life and if you have good habits in your life i guess you're already on your way to a successful and easier life and obviously i'm not saying that by having these habits in your life you'll magically reach to greater place in your life or you'll magically lead you know to success and you'll have everything that you want in your life obviously you have to put effort and work for it but these habits will help you with your work and will help you to become a more productive and a better person so you'll have more energy and more motivation to work throughout your goals and hopefully everyone will reach their goals and be happy and reach everything they want in their life so yeah that's what it for this video guys i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please give a thumbs up comment down below what's one habit of yours that you want to change and i'll see you guys on my next video bye